Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with News and Announcements for St. John, Kansas and Maxville. And we're on Cable Channel 3 and sandylandcenter.org, our website. And it's one of those things that I just remind everybody that we had a couple of million hits on our, our website. <coughs> And I'm not sure if there are that many people who tune in to the TV broadcasts on cable, but I hope so. Anyway, it's Wednesday, the 11th of January, and it's uh, windy, and, uh, 38 degrees, and we're expecting a 30% chance of a shower today toward the evening. And uh, the uh, low temperature will be 18, <coughs> and the high temperature 38. Then uh, the next five days are all sunny. So uh, Thursday is sunny with 34 degrees, the high temperature, and 14 the low, and that will be the low temperature for the week. Then uh, Friday is sunny and 45. Uh, Sunday the same, 46. Uh, and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 54 on Sunday, and Monday uh, is 48 and sunny. So. <clears throat> if we can get by uh, the shower tomorrow and the cold temperatures on Thursday, the rest of the week looks uh, unusually good for this time of year. We have no uh, birthdays today, but happy birthday tomorrow to Dean Thrasher and Mary Hughes. We hope that, that you have great birthdays, even though it might be a pretty cold day. The Recreation Commission is having two trips in the month of January. One is Friday the 20th, uh, shopping and supper in Great Bend. And uh, then uh, the next one is the last day of the month, the 31st of January, and they're going to the Dodge City Casino. And of course, uh, it's good because uh, if the weather is good and they're lucky, then that would be a good day to go if you're being having a lucky day. So they're going to leave at 8. They go to the casino. They've changed the fee. I think it used to be $10. Now it's only 7 Uh So please make a reservation with the Rec Commission if you plan to go. And uh, they need to know if they have at least enough to make the trip. And also they need to know... Uh, that they have a chair for everybody who wants to go. Um, and then we have uh, our, our really important news about the lunch menus. And uh, the school, USD 350, is having a Frito pie today. Uh, chicken strips, potatoes, and gravy tomorrow. And barbecue beef on a bun and french fries uh, for Friday. And our friends over in Maxville at the VIP Center uh, they're having ham and beans today. Uh, tomorrow, roast beef. And on uh, Friday, beef and macaroni. Sure sounds like a tempting thing to have roast beef on uh, Thursday for lunch. I hope a lot of folks in Maxville will call in and make an appointment. Well, uh, the city of St. John has uh, three uh, positions open. And they're quite different. <coughs> Uh, the first one is uh, for a chief of police, and we've already told you all the experience and everything that's needed, and uh, you need a letter of interest, a resume, and five uh, references for them to check. The, uh, then there's an experienced lineman <coughs> who could be a power plant trainee, and again, this is a time of the year when uh, the power line might go down and we'd have to be on our own generators here for the city. And so uh, it's always a good thing to fill a vacancy for a lineman and particularly a power plant person at this time of the year. And also it makes sense to uh, be filling a vacancy for a park, uh, uh, park worker, a park maintenance uh, person uh, who is able to do a backhoe, a grader, and a loader experience is preferred and that's a good person to have too uh, because sometimes it snows and you need all of the city crew to plow things. So check at the city office 
and uh, the jobs will be open until they get filled. The last one is from Elder Care Home Services in Great Bend, and they need, uh, they prefer to have a CNA uh, for a, or somebody who has done caregiving uh, to do elder care uh, in this uh, county. And uh, another thing that happens is they do a KBI background on all their people so that uh, they really are secure about the quality and the training and uh, the way that people do their job of elder care. And it's an important thing in Stafford County. Uh, there are a lot of us who uh, are old enough uh, and we're getting to the place where it just might be something that anybody uh, in your family might need. So uh, it would be good. So if you're a CNA or a CMA uh, and you'd like to do part-time elder care in Stafford County, uh, call elder care at 620-792-5942. And so there are uh, four job op openings uh, that need to be filled, which maybe will help the unemployment rate around here and in Kansas. <clears throat> well, the word of the day is a good one to think about. Uh, the only exercise that some people get is jumping to conclusions. So this is Jim Lakey, and I'm hoping that you won't be doing that over this Wednesday. <laughs>